morning. What can I get for you? Just a It gets kind of busy, but I'm never overwhelmed. I think I just enjoy it so much here that I don't ever get frustrated or flustered here. Out in West Texas, all you have to do is follow the aroma of fresh roasted coffee to a little place in downtown Abilene. It's called Monks, where Alyssa Derrick has her hands full with French roast and fancy coffees. She's one of several highly trained baristas here at Monks. When customers are sitting down enjoying their coffee and I have time to make my own beverage, I like to make shots of espresso and a brewed cup of coffee. And those two beverages are my favorite because it's not the way they taste, but it's the way they look. Alyssa, an accomplished artist and head barista in these parts, has been stirring and staring into the dark liquid so long, she started seeing things. When I start an individual painting with coffee, once I sketch it out and have the layout how I want it, I just jump right in and I kind of am not too nitpicky about it looking perfect because I just go with the flow with the coffee. This is for a customer we have that comes in quite often. This is actually a surprise for his wife. Well, it was not long ago that the sight of a spilled cup of java gave Alyssa the idea she could create stunning portraits, not with oil paints or watercolors, but with coffee. Right here, I used the brewed coffee, but when I wanna use the dark tones and the really high contrast, I'll use espresso. I spend hours and hours on a painting, but I want it to look like I spent five minutes. Each subject in Alyssa's paintings are unsuspecting customers of monks who came in for their morning pick-me-up and ended up on the walls of this coffee ground gallery. The old man with glasses and a book, I actually don't remember his name, but he comes in every Friday. He drops his granddaughters off at piano lessons, and he comes here and gets a cup of coffee, and I just think it's really cute. Over there with the two computer screens is Mario, and I painted him three months ago, and he uses this as his office. He comes in every day, gets bottomless and a bagel, and he stays till about two. The lady with the cup in her hand, her name's Jessica. She owns a boutique in Abilene. And Toby, who's sitting on the couch, he comes in about three times a week. Denise walked by her painting, and she was like, that looks a lot like me. And then one day, she casually, she's very polite, and was like, is that me? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and I thought it was funny. <laughs> Good morning. What can I get for you? We have to wait uh, yeah. A customer will come in, and I just think they're unique, or what kind of muffin? I just like the features on their face and I want to paint them, but then they slip out and I don't get them. So I feel like it's an injustice against me. <laughs> it's, yeah. I have to watch myself. I'm a people watcher and I'll just stare at someone and their features. I'm like, oh, I want to draw them so bad. <laughs> but I'm like, that's not normal, Alyssa. People think you're weird. <laughs> it kind of represents that these people kind of stained an imprint in our lives, and I wanted that to reflect in the stained coffee. They're not just a person that just gets a cup of coffee, but they have a name and they have a story. So forever, they'll be a part of monks. In a small West Texas coffee shop, we found details in the dark roast, expressions in espresso, character captured in cappuccino all highlighted by layers of latte from the talented hands of an artist. Alyssa Derrick never knows when her next subject will walk in the door, but one thing is for sure, that strong aroma is always in the air, and it may just be coming from the creative work of a barista 
turned portrait painter. I don't plan doing this as a career, but right now people are enjoying it and it's a nice way of reminding people that everyone has a story. Mm -hmm.